playing jet ski Tetris out here. Trying to uh, weasel this wave raider up front. Think you got it. Oh. Uh. So we played Tetris, got this thing out front. Um, now we're gonna drop a battery in it and uh, just do another compression test, make sure it's all good. Then we're gonna yank this motor out and get it ready for the blaster. Because he drank the gas. <laughs> Now that we got the uh, engine out, we're gonna take a look at the blaster, see what all that needs. I do have a parts blaster over here somewhere um, that we can steal some parts off of if we need to. Um, so I'm gonna go check that out. All right, now we're in the blaster here. We got motor mounts, mid shaft, gas tank. Looks like it's only missing a water box. That's easy. Um, Steering's all complete. I know the pump is all intact. So, should be able to just drop this motor in and uh, be riding by the end of the day. Let's try it out. All right, so it looks like we just need a water box. I have this old blaster here um, that we can steal some parts off of if we need to. Uh, funny story on this ski, this was actually my first race ski back in high school, so like 1997, 98, I sold it when I was still in high school, and uh, the same guy kept it for like 20 something years, um, let it sit out on the side of his barn and get roached out, but uh, then fast forward to like, I don't know, 2019 or something, no, probably like 2017. Um, I had an old 
Wave Runner 500 that I got in a deal, package deal, whatever, listed it for $200. And this guy that had my blaster hit me up and said he'd be willing to trade me. So I ran out to Parker and got my original Wave Blaster back. Kind of sucks to see it in this condition, but it's cool to have it back. One of these days, I'll get around to restoring it. Okay, so now Nick is going to part out what's left of the Raider. Um, get all that stuff up on eBay. And then we'll keep moving on the blaster in the next video. Alright, so uh, the first thing we're doing here, Nick's taking the oil injector off and then we got to switch out the rubber mount on the bottom of the engine to get it ready to drop in. Um, we'll just run pre-mix in the ski once we uh, get that all switched out. got the fuel lines in everything looks ready to go um, next step is just dropping it in Start stop switches in, just make sure it runs. Probably throttle. throttle. So now I gotta go to the water. <laughs> 